Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Deadly Premonition Director's Cut um, We've just gone, uh, well, we've just finished everything in the uh, Lumber mill and now we're going back Ooh. Well, we're not going back, we, we should go to sleep somewhere What is this? Let's see, some kind of a race? Get out of car. Oh. Game start. What? Oh, I have to... Oh, it is a racing game. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Go, go, go! Okay. Is that what Zack does in his pasta? <laughs> Where? Oh, jeez. Well, it would help if I knew where the next bloody checkpoint will be, you know? Can we just go through this? Yeah, we can! Bloody hell. Go, go, go! Are we gonna jump at the end? That would be awesome, actually. Where? <sighs> no, that's bad racing design. <laughs> Where now? Come on! Gotta go! Back up! Apparently... Ow. Oops! I think we might have damaged the car a little. And we're running out of time. Oh, come on. Is that the last one? Oh, oh come on! No! Is that the last one? Ah, oh, for Pete's sake! <sighs> the stupid placement of these things! Horrible! Oh, let's try this again. Really bloody horrible. If you want to make it fun, at least give me two points so I can see where to go next. Alright, I mustn't crash. Come on, if this thing would go any faster, it would be nice. I like how Zack goes around driving at a, well, 30 miles an hour, destroying everything and the car, just to have a little racing. Alright. Uh, uh, horrible driving controls. Yeah, much better now. Acceleration is so bad. But I shouldn't complain. Oh, come on! I was turning my bloody wheel. Who put it there? Oh, come on. Really? Come on, full speed ahead. Go. There we go. Great! Well, that was random. What? Oh, this opened. A card that we can get. Alright, let's get it then. Mm -hmm. Um, wait. This is not the way down, is it? Oh, it kind of is. Okay. Wait, that did look like a jump. How do I go in? Where is it open? It's not open here. Yes. All right, this way. Let's find the doors. It must be here, then. Here? No? Here? Ah, there we go. Zack, picking up from where we left off, speaking of 80s movies, 
One jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83. Directed by Doug. No, we'll, we'll do that later. Zach, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. What is that? There's a car to here, but... Well, there we go. Sally Graham. But there's also this little thing. What's this? Marvelous! What? Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. That was it. Anything in here? Not really. It's just a barn. But... We can jump now. Yeah! With this... POS car. Come on. Back up. Ugh. Yeah. Pedal to the metal. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, now let's go. Where do we need to go? I have no bloody idea. Zach, picking up from where we left off, speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83. Directed by Douglas McCann. Oh my god. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still, it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth? I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. Wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. Oh, I, I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. I loved that, that one. That was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. I loved Tremors, but only the first one. Actually, I haven't seen the other ones at all. Because they were just, I think, cheap, you know, replica sort of, if you want to call them. But, uh, yeah, the first one was such a cool one. What? Can't... Get the bloody flower. There we go. Dun! You got this flower. There's something very mesmerizing about it. I wonder what it's called. A I'll take one with me and ask someone later. A dandelion? I don't know. Flower with no name. <laughs> All right. What about nameless flower, or unknown flower, or mutated flower carnivorous, possibly, which will eat you and your car, and your family, and then drink the lake, and destroy the world, and become a comet, and go into other star systems, and destroy stuff there. These lights help absolutely nothing. Wait, oh yeah, no way. Oh, the driving controls. Yeah, full speed ahead. I wonder if it's gonna rain in here. No, what the hell was that? That was bizarre. What the hell is this in the road? Tremors. Yeah. And Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. Guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007, but it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called Sananju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's master Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on you couldn't tell. It's so bizarre talking about these movies. Oh, did I love Tremors. Ugh. This car can't stay on the bloody road at all. Oh, what's over here? Is that the community center or something? Mm. Oh, that is the community center. I hope I can sleep here. Oh no, it's locked. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. 15 and two, between 15 and 17 just leave out the hundred bloody hell um where's my car can we take another car <laughs> there's my car 
Right. You know, it would help if I would have the entire bloody map. Is it here in the main menu or something? Let's see. Um, no? What's this? Oh. What's this? Oh, no. Oh, map. Ah, there we go. Well, that's... That's the furthest I can zoom out. And that's a community center. It's away from everything. Okay, at least... What are these? Brian's house. Anna's house. Nick's house. Suspect. Oh, it's like that. Book Mountain Bank. Greenvale Sheriff Department. Where's my hotel? Galaxy of Terror. What the hell are these things? Suspect. Okay. Do we want to go and get those suspects then? Alright. Yeah. Back. Let's go. Let's get the suspects. Yeah. Full speed ahead. Or to the left, or whatever. Go. Can I just go across here? That would be preferable. Yes, we can, of course. Excellent. Right, where's that suspect? Oh no! What? Oh, don't tell me I have to go all the bloody array around. Oh my god, okay. Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. You knew that, right, Zach? Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies Ferris Bueller's Day Off. 1986, directed by John Hughes. Huh, that one was so 80s. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know. But you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, St. Elmo's Fire, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerling. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates. Hmm? We gotta go. Zach, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. How do we stop him? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to yes. be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What well, do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. Where'd he go? He went inside this place, I think? Let's go get him, quickly. Can we do anything with the car? Nothing of any interest here. What's this? Peak. Oh, it's actually loading to peek through the window. Well, oh. What's the point? Let's just go in. Turkey sandwich, I gotta eat that. Country ham. Alright. Come on. Now loading. Now loading more cheesy stuff. And also coffee. Well, do 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 do. Now loading. It sure likes to load for such an old game. But I guess old games are usually quite notorious for that. Can we peek through here? Oh no, it's gonna load again if I do that. Well, it's all closed. Damn bastards. 6.30 apparently. In the morning. Oh well, let's go. I thought I could do something cool, but no. Well, let's find the hotel if we can, or just somewhere to sleep, I guess. Oh look, there's actually reflections on the road. I didn't see that before, that's quite cool. Uh, where's that suspect? He's in that house near here, right? Ugh. <clears throat> One of these houses over here, if I remember correctly. No? Here? What? What's wrong with the car? Come on! Hmm. I thought he was here. Oh well. <clears throat> what about those houses? Oh great. That's a bloody wall.
Come on, full speed ahead. Zach, picking up from where we left off, now Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. You knew that, right, Zach? Jennifer <laughs> Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 1986, directed by John Hughes. <laughs> that one was so 80s. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know. But you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, St. Elmo's Fire, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerly. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron Crowe. How could that not be a great film? Do you remember, Zach? When that movie ended, the last words, the end, was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Oh, this is all closed as well. I, I wish I could at least see on the bloody map where the goddamn hotel is. But no. It's not gonna let me do that. Record player. Okay. Oh, that's just a card with a record player. This is all closed, of course. Hmm. Oh, that's a dog. Oh. Hello, doggy. That's pretty cool. Surprisingly... Oh. Surprisingly nicely animated as well. Hmm. Right, uh... Let's, uh... Yeah, let's save over here, because... I have no bloody idea where that hotel is. I mean, it's it's silly. It gives us the option to sleep in lumber mills and, and all kinds of different weird places. But when you actually want to go back to the hotel, I guess the only way to know where the hotel is, is to go back into the menu, go to the map. Is this my no? Go to the... no. Well, map, and then... F side mission. What? Oh. Toggle map. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. What's that doing? Oh, that's just going through the places. Well, why can't I just... Uh... It's two suspects. Why can't I select... So it shows me where I want to go. Panda bear, what? Suspects, Ingram, Anna's house. This is, this, the hotel is not on the map, unless... Swery 65. Oh, no, that's the hospital, Galaxy of Terror. I don't know, I'm just gonna drive around until I find something. Platia. That's annoying. Where can I sleep, people? I want to sleep somewhere. Well, that's a dead end. That car just materialized into... Oh. I just destroyed someone's car. What? This road just ends in a dead end, and there are cars parked at the end. What? Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. And finally, I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg himself, the grandfather of Panic Movies, set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah? No. It's Jaws. Oh god. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. What the hell I've happened? I've been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. 
The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims? And Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else? The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. Hmm. That reminds me, Zack. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced <sighs> by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. So, the scene where Jaws appears is right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater. And yes, says, yes, yes. We don't really we'll care. We'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. <sighs> Finally found the bloody place where I can sleep. It's not even a hotel. Jeez. Yeah, go to sleep. That was ridiculous. Light sleep. Alright, um... Let's sleep to 10 in the morning, shall we? Yes. Let's do that. Mm, mm, mm. Whoa, we're starving. Are we gonna die? I better get something to eat soon, Zach. Oh yeah, we're... Whoa, it's going down quick. Bloody hell. Jeez. We only slept through the night. Right, let's uh, eat the turkey sandwich, shall we? Use. You ate a lot. Well, that was it? You lied to me. You said I should use the turkey sandwich and it'll be something cool, but it wasn't. Flare. I'll just use a lollipop. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Pickles. No, no, no. There we go. All right. That's it. Eight up now. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.